What is going on guys? This is the Lost Yeti here and today we're going to be taking a look at Slay the Spire. It's a card based roguelike that I thought could be very interesting on the channel. This is actually my first impressions, first times playing it. I've been meaning to get to it. Super excited. Let's get right on into it. Now I have seen this game before so I am somewhat familiar with how everything works and I know that there's a lot of math involved which is going to be a problem and also kind of planning which I'm not good at. So bear with me. Hold on, here we go. We're starting off as the Ironclad, which is kind of like the Knights. There should also be uh, basically, well, doesn't matter. We're, we're focused on this guy right now. We'll worry about the other characters if we get to them. So this is the map that we're basically looking at, and there are tons of things on the map. Right now we're choosing our starting point, and then we'll have to go down the, the tree. On the right, you'll see the legend that's explaining what everything is. Resting is kind of important, especially when you're bad like I am. Um, merchants are pretty good. Treasure is very good, obviously. And question mark could be anything. I feel like right now, however, this guy right here is probably going to be our best bet because then that'll give us options moving forward with question marks. Although this one gives us a straight shot to fights and fight. No, let's 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 see if we can be confident. Let's start with here. Let's get it going. At least this way, it gives us a chance of taking on a boss if we think we can. And uh, this is the tutorial which we are ignoring. So we're going to be starting off, I think, we, so as you can see above the enemy's heads tells us what they're doing. I'm going to be trying to deal 8 damage to get this guy knocked so he doesn't do damage to me. And I can just straight up damage him out so he's dead. Um, the guy on the right side actually going to do any damage to me and I'm out of energy so I need to end my turn. Everything costs energy, everything costs a turn basically. On the right you can see our energy. Let's see, so this guy's going to be doing damage for 8 I don't think I have enough to take him out, so I should probably try to stack enough defense to get a defense going. That should be just good enough. He gave us a... No more cards. Okay, so then it just shuffles the cards back. Beautiful. So now our bash is back, so we can do that guy, that guy... Out of energy, that's fine. Got it. End the turn. So you can kind of see what's going on here. It's hard to fully explain because there's a lot, but it, it should be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, now we only have to get him within 15, and he's not going to actually do anything at this moment. So we can deal a little bit extra damage and get on to the next round. We're collecting 15 gold, and we're going to add an extra card. Interesting. So a clash could be pretty good. Deal equal damage to your block. That could also be very good. So if we do two blocks, so that would be three, three, that's six. So, okay. Headbutt, deal nine damage, put a card from your discard pile on the top. I like the option to pull cards that we want. So we're going to be taking the headbutt. And we're going to skip gold. Got it? Got it. Proceed. Regular boss fight. We got a little bit more power in our pockets. All right. So we've got this guy in the back that's going to be trying to take us out. So I think if I get do this, I should be able to just straight up knock him. Done. Gone. And then this guy won't even know what's hitting him. So it appears that that buff is essentially, when I hit him, he's getting some more defense going. So i got to be clever. Deal six damage, put a card from the top of your discard pile on the top of your draw pile. So I would like to do this. Would like to pull you back. And then would like to block, block, and turn. He's not going to deal any damage, and that puts the strong attack right back on top. I'm hoping that works out exactly as how I think it's going to work out. Bash, you're done. Ooh, you're not done. Well, anything else will kill you. Either way. That's fine. 10 gold, fairy in a bottle. When you die, heal to 30%. When you would die, heal to 30%. Okay, beautiful. I like that. Got it. Add a card to my deck. Draw one card. Put a card from your hand onto the top of your draw pile. Okay, I feel like that's just a net positive. Deal four damage and all, to all enemies. That's huge for groups. We don't have anything for groups at the minute. Three weak and vulnerable to all and exhaust. I think we're going to go with Warcry for the time being. Get a good, like, cycling effect going on. 
So we can either gain 75 gold or lose. I think right now we're doing well on HP, so we're gonna we're gonna take that risk. And we're gonna take the random encounter. As you come to a dead end and begin to turn around, slam down the ceiling. Okay. Three faces materialize from the walls to speak. Forget what you know, and I'll let you go. I require change to see a new space. If you want to pass me, you must grow. Remove a card from your deck, transform a card. Okay. Upgrade. What happens if we upgrade our bash? 10 damage, 3 vulnerable. Warcry. Draw 2 cards. Put a card from your... Okay. Headbutt. 12 damage. That's huge. That's what we're going to do. Headbutt immediately. Clear this guy out a little bit. And he's doing something so we can just deal a bunch of damage and end our turn. Working out a little bit better than I thought it would. <clears throat> he's got an incantation coming in. So, okay, he's going to strike for six. If I play that card, it's gone. So I think right now I just want to make sure I get the block up. And then get a good old strike on him. End my turn. That way, the card when you exhaust something, it doesn't come back around. I feel like it could be more helpful in a future turn. Uh, precisely this moment, actually. Choose a card to put on top of your draw pile. I would like to pull Bash next. Confirm. In the meantime, that's not going to help me a whole lot here. Because, yeah, I can't do anything. I could have just killed him. I, I suppose that's probably the best move. Slight misplay. But the Bash should just take him out right there. Done and dusted. Gold, add a card. What do we got? Gain five block, upgrade a card, and that's that's where I want to go. Done. Proceed. Uh, we could rest. We could take on a boss. I think we might want to take on the boss, and I'm only saying that because right now we're at 71 out of 80 health, and we're doing all right. Doing all right. Doing just fine. Hanging out here. All right. He's sleeping. Let's, let's deal some damage. What do you got for me, bud? You're going to absolutely wipe the floor with me? Probably. So he's dealing 18. Gain 5 block. Yeah, that's definitely what we want to do. Upgrade a card from my deck. Let's upgrade... What's that? 10 damage, 3 vulnerable? That's probably going to be really helpful. War cry, 2 cards? No. Yeah, that. That's what we want. Hey, can I just... Do that again? Okay. I think I'm doing this with some sort of logic here, and we're going to defend the heck out of this. Best we can. Beautiful 10. He's going to only do 8. Ten damage, three vulnerable. Eighteen damage. We can at least get. F oh, we can't. I. Yeah, let's get this block up done. He's gonna hit me hard. I think we're playing a little bit too aggressive at this exact moment. But we are dealing a decent amount of damage, so I'm hoping to overcome him in the long run. He's only gonna have 41 health hanging on and he's got a decent amount of vulnerable so we're, our our strikes are hard okay, so we definitely want to get the block going let's upgrade the strike it's only going to benefit us here i should have upgraded the defense that was not 13 damage this is going to hurt a lot but hopefully we can just survive if we can survive, we'll be looking pretty. 16 damage. This guy's going to do 7. 16 and 7, that's... We will get there. I misplay definitely, but it was enough to get him there. We're at half health. 
not ideal. Whenever you would lose HP, you would lose one less. That is absolutely huge. Got it. Speed potion. That's fine. Do I want to add a card? Got it. Apply one week to all enemies and then exhaust. I suppose that's probably a good thing. Whenever a card is exhausted, deal one card. Uh, gain 12 block. Whenever you are attacked this turn. It's huge. Flame Barrier is absolutely huge, but it's a high cost card. Let's let's get the low cost card coming in our deck. I know it might kind of overfill us, but at least it gives us something to do if we have a lot of enemies kind of coming at us. All right, so we want to outblock this guy because we can straight up do it. There's no reason not to. Let's pull the bash next. And we can actually do some damage. And end our turn. That'll fully absorb what he's got. Because right now we can't play with it whole much. And do a little bit of damage. He is taking our money. But I'm not super worried about that at the exact moment. Oh, I see what's happening here. Okay, so we can't outblock him. So we might as well just go for this. And take the defense that we can get. I don't, I, I would have wanted to use that before I used that potion, I realize. Again, this is part of the learning curve. As long as he doesn't take me down here, we're going to be doing just fine. Apply the weakness. Gain five block, upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of, yeah, 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 that. Okay, boom. You're down. Okay, if I can deal, what's that, nine damage? What if I... Hear me out on this. I upgrade you. Go to this guy. Confirm. That's 9 damage. Then what do you actually deal? 13? Oh, we're almost there. Okay. Whatever we get next turn can definitely take him out. Ooh, but now he's got... Hmm. I think I can just bash straight through that, though. 6. 6. You're done. So, we're back at where we started, essentially, because we're going to heal. Got our gold back. Not a net positive... For each time you lose HP in this combat, deal 18 damage. I, I just can't take those guys. I'm going to skip those cards. I don't want them. I, I like what we're rolling with, with right now, so I'm cool. I'm cool with what we got. Now, here's a multi-enemy, so I'm really hoping I pull that one guy. Let's see. Let's use this guy. Let's get that. Let's get armaments going next time. And let's just... Deal as much damage as possible. So split it up. But we need to... Okay. 12. 12 gets him dead. Deal 8. And you, you can you can be dead at 8. So that's that's a positive. We'll, we'll do that. We're going to be hit hard, but hopefully we can come back from that. I'll be honest, I'm running a little bit lower than I'd like to be. So we're only going to be hit for 10. Definitely roll that. Those guys aren't going to get me there. But it, okay, so they're only going to hit me for six. So now I could definitely upgrade that. Um, what if I take one of these strikes? Will that get me to nine? Nine's not going to take anyone else. So I might as well just upgrade the block. Definitely have more than what I need. Deal some damage. All is good in the hood. I don't know what that guy's doing, but whatever you gotta do. I've got shield up anyways. They're all back to striking. I don't have any of my fancy defends, so I think this is just a defend, defend, defend. Let's get a better, a better offensive hand going before we make some moves here. Hanging on with two defense. Armament should be coming back around. Beautiful. That'll serve us one. Ten damage, three vulnerable. I think that's what we want. Confirm. That's all we're going to be able to play, really, so it doesn't really matter. That guy can just straight up die, though, so I suppose that's, that's the move. 
And I can still deal 12, so I'm going to deal 12 and just knock that guy. Pull armament back up, and then end that turn. He's going to take out my shield, but I should be still hanging in there. And honestly, we didn't really lose a whole lot of um, damage from this guy. So this is all we need here. So we're going to use this guy. We're going to upgrade a strike. Clean him out. Just leave him for dead. Beautiful plays right there. Got a regen potion. Regen heals HP at the end of your turn. Each turn, regen is reduced by one. Okay, noted. I'm going to take that. What do we get for cards? Flame Barrier again. That seems really good. Gain five block, deal five damage is just genuinely better than everything else we have. So if we can ditch one of our strikes and replace it with that, it's, it's just a better card. Yeah, we're, we're going to take Iron Wave. And we're also going to get some sort of gift here. What we got? 54 gold, as well as whenever you enter a rest site, the next combat, beautiful. Either way, we're going to have to take on an elite, or one of the bosses, I should say. So, hmm. Two regular combats. At least this way we can kind of avoid it and then get healed up. So I think... Where we're at right now is we don't want to take on any elites. I think that we could take them, but I think it's going to put us in a tough spot. Now, if we deal... All right, clear this guy. And then that would not get me there. This is also not going to get me here. So we're going to take some of this right on the chin. But hopefully it doesn't put us too bad of a spot. I'm definitely going to have to rest when we get to that. Alright. Let's uh, actually use the regen. You're dead. So that's not a problem. Let's deal 8 damage. Apply to fear. Yep. Just dead. Beautiful. Nice play. And then we're out of we're out of moves. We're out of moves. We're just we're just chilling. We're hanging out. Having a good time. Apply weak. Deal some damage. He's only gonna strike me. Yeah, just overall better move here. He's not gonna hit me for anything, so at least that gets him within ten, which means if we get one of our better offensive cards, we can just wipe them off the face of the earth. Alright, so I see my options. We got to deal 10 damage. We can definitely get it there, so we're not even worried about defense. Just clearing the map. Now, maybe I could have chilled and kind of soaked in the regen a little bit, but not the way we're playing. Not the way we're playing. Interesting. Block is not removed at the start of your next turn. That would be helpful. Here's the problem. I don't know if that's until next turn prevents damage. I don't know about that. Ethereal deal 20 damage. Jesus. That's a hard hit. It is exhausted. Exhausted cards are removed from your deck. Okay. Oh, so I have to use it. Otherwise, it's gone. That puts me in a tough spot a lot of the time. I think it's better off just not having it. Because I don't think I'd have the energy to get it. If I can get something to give me more energy, then that would have been a viable strategy. I know that there are ways to do that. But as it stands right now, I just don't think it is. We're going to armament the Bash Plus. See if we can't clear this guy. That's all right. 17. What are you doing? Are you going to... Okay, so they both have strength, which is not ideal. One week to all enemies. That's fine. At least you won't strike me as hard. So realistically, we just got to get 12 out, out here. So I can either block for 5, or block for 10, get hit for 2, or I can deal 18, get hit for 6. I think that's the way to go. And then just block... Get hit for five. So I'm really getting hit for additional three by having one less enemy. I think I made the right call there. I'm hoping I made the right call there. Of 
He's going to hit me for 13. I don't have anything to defend. I think... I think this is the, the way to move right here. Let's gain 10 block. And just completely overkill what we need, but not actually take any damage here. Let's get that rolling. Let's deal damage and call it life. He's within striking distance, and I think I can get him there right here. That's fine. Iron Wave will do it. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We are hanging in there. 19 gold cards. I think Shrug It Off is just a good card. It does like just a good card. I don't care. I'm probably overloading on cards at the moment. Let's get the shop rolling. We got plenty of money. What what can we buy? What do you got for us, bud? The boot. Whenever you would deal for four or less unblocked damage, increase it to five. Interesting. So if I had a low damage attack, when enemies with vulnerable to extend five, okay. Whenever you play a power attack and skill in the same turn, remove all of your debuffs. Okay, I understand. So these are just net positives. So whenever you would deal four or less unblocked damage. I don't think that that's very helpful in our current situation. I do think that Paper Frog is helpful. Because we do have a couple things that give vulnerable. Is there anything else on the, that we can buy that would give vulnerability? No. The paper Frog is going in our pocket. And can we still afford just healing up? I think that that's just a helpful thing to have. We can't remove, so we're going to stay on the move. I'm not going to take on the Elite because we're... Or regening health at this exact moment. So is this going to be... He's going to be striking for, for 10 immediately. So that's just a helpful... Block. Block. Probably should have done this first. That's fine. You're coming in. And turn... You're not doing anything to me, bud. Sorry to break it to you like this. But you didn't really stand a chance. Let's see, we're going to deal 12 damage, pull armaments back up. We're going to block for 5 because that's all we really got. And just for the fun of it, we're going to play armaments, shrug it off, and that. Okay, so upgrade to 9. That's going to get us within safety. And we're just going to blast this man. That was really powerful. Definitely right move in this situation. Because if we can get a little bit more regen going, I feel like that would make us a whole lot stronger for the boss fight. Definitely. Definitely upgrade Bash. We've got the time to use it. He's not going to attack us right now. Let's get him down to 10. I, that's 100% the move. And with our Paper Frog, the vulnerability is huge. It's absolutely huge. All on... Fortness, <laughs> unfortunately, his weakness is already gone. Let's take him out right there. Done, done and dusted. Gold back. Get a block, draw a card. I, that's just a good play. Ooh, but another armaments is huge. A random attack card into your hand, it causes zero this turn. Exhaust. We're going to go double armament. And if I can upgrade that, I will definitely upgrade that. Bandage up. We're, ca we're catching back up. Let's get the weakness going. Let's get the vulnerability going. And I don't really have any use for either of those. Doesn't look like he's still doing anything with armaments. Upgrade the shrug, shrug it off, I think. I think that's just the best way to go. We don't really need it. I 
I think he's going to hit me next turn, so I'd like to have a defense in my pocket. And we'll do a little bit of damage here, but not enough to make any significant progress. He's going to lick me again. He's going to give me more weakness. And he's going to hit me for 16. Jesus. All right. Let's look at what we got. Gain five block. Definitely got to do that. If we upgrade this, this gets us to eight. I think that's just what we got to do. It gets us the most ready for what we got to do. And then now we can at least do a little bit of damage here. He's still going to hit us hard. There's nothing we can do about it. I think we're still in a good spot, at least. We can armaments the armaments. I'm realizing this now. Oh, that's, that's a huge turn. Again, 11 block. He's, yeah. Uh, I should, probably should have struck it rather than over over protecting there, but Armaments Plus just looked so good. Just got to get on that offensive right now. That was the problem. Right now we're just kind of doing damage control, which is not good position or not a good position to be in. Ooh, and he is stunned, so hopefully... What would this get us to? I don't know. We can upgrade that straight up. That's what we want to do. Boom. And turn. Now, is there any way... Oh, yeah. That's definitely what we want to do. Okay. think that's what I want to do yeah like it's it's more stalling play and I don't really want to stall but like oh this is a bad a bad bad hand okay not too vulnerable I think we want to do it to this guy if we get 13 out of him somehow yeah we can definitely get 13 out of him we're not gonna be able to do much more but oh I I see that I've made a slight miscalculation this is a problem. Okay, so I only need to deal... You're gone. Now we need to get... 7 block up. That's fine. I can still headbutt you. I can pull a good strike to the front. We're backpedaling. But we're alive. I didn't think that a slime would be that much of a, not much of an issue. We should just be able to straight up outclass you. Done. 61, dex potion. I don't want to add anything else. I already think I have too many cards in my hand. So, that would get me to full. I can upgrade a card in my deck. I think the move might be to get two armament pluses. I just think, or at least one. I think that that's going to let us steamroll a little bit better. It's a risky play, definitely. Will it pay off? We're about to find out. This boss is going to kick my rear end in. All right. 240 health. We're starting off with the armaments. A headbutt. Okay, we're, we're going to just straight up start with that. And we're going to get the armaments plus right on deck if we can. Doesn't really matter doesn't really matter just hit him as hard as we can basically he's got nine shield up and he's gonna hit hard okay definitely lay that down get him weakened we need everything and anything that we can get right about now at least gets us at 20 we're only gonna be taking four I'm not thrilled with that situation but it's not a horrible situation. 
Beautiful, we can bandage up. That's huge, 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 huge. Don't really need the block right now. He's shifting in. Okay. I'm going to hope to roll into something decent here. Not happening. But he had 20 block up. There's no no reason to strike him when it's not going to do anything. Sharp Hide, I believe, is when I do damage on him. It does damage to me. So I better watch out with my defense is going. So let's, let's do that. Because I think, yeah, it strikes me a little bit. So I can definitely headbutt. But I think before I do that, I'm just going to make sure I got what I need here. So even though I'm taking a little bit, I'll be taking three damage. It's not as horrible. And we got him down to 172. This is within reason. Oh, but he is doing eight damage twice. Okay. Seven. Twelve. Armaments. Yeah. It's a long play, but it, it's definitely the play to make. So we're barely going to be holding our own air. But at least gets past the sharp skin. Now he's going to be dealing 20 damage. Jesus, okay. Um, and that's all we're going to get. He's going to hit us hard. I regret everything. Oof. All right. He's not. All right. What's that really going to do for us? I think it's it's just a net positive because we're not going to be able to play every any, any, everything anyways. So let's just deal as much damage as we can. End our turn. Get as much stuff in our in our hands. Upgraded. He's charging up. He's got a shield and nine. That's going to be a problem. He's going to hit us hard. All right. All right. All right. All right. What can we do in this situation? What does our war cry get us? It's giving us any sort of. I need weakness. Play that next turn. Let's let's focus about surviving right now. What do we got in our hands? Dexterity potion, yes. Please and thank you. Ten block. Seventeen block. Okay. Oh well, that would have been good to know that he was gonna shift. Because I much rather would have just put him in that shift state. But that's all right. He's only striking for nine. We're within reason here. And he, but he does have sharp scale up, so we're going to do 7 block. We're going to upgrade that. Can't do that. Alright. More or less everything in our hands upgraded. He's still going to hit us for 8. But I think we're doing okay. Like, I'm taking a lot of damage. But I think we're doing all right. Every, unfortunately, everything's already upgraded here. So let's get that rolling. We're not going to be able to bash. I think if we even strike on this, we're going to hit sharp hided. But all right. Still making progress. Under 100 health. He's got like double R's. A little bit more than double R's. Hitting us for 20, man. Put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw. Okay. Let's do that. Get the block rolling. Somehow, some way, that was the move. Okay, beautiful. He's down to 80. We are literally at double his health. Or half his health. And he's not going to be able to knock all that. Right now, we just got to hit him and hit him hard. Nothing matters with our upgrades. So we get him down to 60. Honestly, doesn't matter. None of those are going to impact us right here. He's charging up. He's going to give himself a little bit of shield. Okay. There's a light at the end of the tunnel here. Just got to play our cards right. 
Field 32. That's definitely where we want to be here. So I can block for 10. I think that's what I got to do. Don't hit me so hard, because you're going to hit me very hard. Oof, okay. He's figuring out what, what he wants to do with his life, so we're going to do as much damage as possible. I'm just trying to think what's the right move here. 42 health. He's going to only hit us for 9. He does have scales up. I'm going to shrug it off. 15 damage. Oh, there is, there's a hope and a dream here. It's going to be real close. He's going to hit me for... What is that? 2? Hit me for 1. And I just got to do 12 damage. It will do damage to me, so let's get some shield up in the meantime. Okay, it's totally doable. I just gotta do it like this. Get the block up, hit the strike in. He's dead, I took the strike. We're gonna pass with 28 health. Hope and a dream. I don't see us lasting much longer than this. If there is much longer than this for this run. We're getting a relic, we're getting... At the start of your turn, you can no longer smith. Okay, that's fine. You can get move two cards. At the start of your turn, you can no longer gain gold. I feel like gold is probably more useful than smithing because I can always rest at the smith site. So that's what I want to go with here. We're going to proceed, and we're not going to last a whole lot longer, I don't think, anyways. Got two thieves coming up. And we are going to leave this one off on a cliffhanger, actually. If you guys are enjoying this game, let me know down in the comment section below. Keep your eyes out for part two. As always, guys, this has been your host, The Lost Yeti, and I hope to catch you guys in the next episode on the channel.